Do you know what type of tool you are? There are a lot of tools in the world, and they each have a specific purpose. So it's not just knowing what type of tool you are, but it's being able to use that tool for the right purpose. You have to understand both of those levels. When you do, here's what you understand. You understand your purpose and your passion. Your purpose is what type of tool you are, the hammer or the screwdriver or the drill or whatever it happens to be. But then it's also knowing exactly how to use that tool exactly the way it was created to fix that problem and that problem only. Because not you can't use every tool to fix every problem. I remember there's been times where I've bought something, especially at Christmas time, and it comes with the instruction manual, and I can't find the right screwdriver, so I end up using a dime, a coin, to screw in the bolts. Do you know how long it takes to screw in bolts with using a dime? Now, you can get it done, and a dime can become a tool. The problem is it causes a lot of frustration, a lot of lost time, and a lot of knuckles that get skinned and cut up because... It takes so much extra time because you're using the tool wrong. You're not using the correct tool. So you have to understand both to understand your purpose and passion. What type of tool are you and what were you created to specifically fix or serve? There are three types of people in the world, I believe. Three types that make up what type of tool we are. The first is the weekend warrior. This individual, according to Gallup, represents 70% of our population. And this group doesn't know what type of tool they are, which means they start and stop a whole lot of projects. They get really excited and then they end up stopping. They look like me fixing, putting the bike together on Christmas Eve for my kid and not having the right tools to do it and becoming frustrated through the process, taking so much longer to do it. And even if I do get done, I have vowed never to do it again because I didn't have the right tool. And this group, the Weekend Warrior, they don't know what type of tool they are. So it causes a lot of frustration for them. The second group, smaller group, it's about 20% of the population. I call them the handyman. They know exactly what each tool was created to be. They know exactly their purpose for each and every tool. The problem is they refuse to submit 100% to that calling. So sometimes they make it rain and it's wonderful and they do things so exceptionally well. But then other times they're in mediocrity because they think, I know it better. I know what tool to use better, and they refuse to do it according to their purpose and their passion. That group is good, but they're so much better because that last group, 10%, I call them the master craftsmen. They know exactly how to use every single tool. They know the purpose and the passion of every single tool. They know exactly where they fit in society and what they're there to serve. And they follow that and they make it rain. This group produces over 70% of the results in our country and they're 10% of the population. Today, you can become a power tool. You just have to do two things. You have to understand your purpose, what type of tool you are. And then you have to understand exactly how the tool was created to fix who it's supposed to serve. Once you understand those two things, you become a power tool or a master craftsman. My name is Ed Carcary, and I'd love to connect with you. You can find me at edcarcary.com. Find your passion. Find your life.